What's the deal, family? Welcome back to Rare TV, the Village Action Channel on YouTube. It's your boy Rare Show, and today we got another fucking banger for y'all, man. So look, Sir Howard Morrison, man, entertainer extraordinaire, uh, concert performer extraordinaire, uh, New Z one of New Zealand's leading leading television and performance entertainment extraordinaires, man. Rest in peace, man. 1930, 1935 to 2009. Sir Howard Morrison. So basically, uh, dude was an entertainer. He was a singer, just all around, just as far as being in the public eye. I was just killing it. I don't know a crazy amount of information about him. You guys, some of you guys posted a comment. It was like, yo, react to this guy's. Uh, Send off from his family, react to the hawker from that. It's like an emotional one. I decided why not? It's very short. Um, I know a few of you guys might actually know exactly who he is, and you know, maybe even uh, you know, maybe he affected you or some or your parents or uncles, cousins, or whatever family or something like that at some point in their lives, like you know, Michael Jackson or there's other types of people that you know are in America that I can like see him being like one of those types of people or falling in those categories, you know what I'm saying. Uh, Irish and Scottish descent. Uh, oh, his dad, I guess. Or his mom, his dad. His dad was an all black or whatever. So, yeah, let's get to it, man. See what's going on, man. Sir Howard Morrison. Haka by family. Supposed to be emotional. So, in case that's something that's going to get to you, just let you know right now. But... Besides that, let's get straight to it, man. If you're new to the uh, channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, go ahead and like the video, dog. Let's get, let's uh, show some respects. <laughs> Funeral hawkers be deep, bro. Because you you gotta realize, like they just lost a person. So it's not like doing a haka before a game where you still got a lot of energy built up. You got a lot, a lot of like anxiousness and stuff like that, and you want to get it out, butterflies or whatever. Going, it's like somebody dies. So this is your last time to pay as much respect to them as possible. So you gotta come with that energy, bro. You gotta come with that energy, and it's a it's a real like deep situation. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love it. I love to see it, bro. I love to see it, bro. Even though the dudes is leading this shit, bro. Look at the look at all the uh the females in the background, whether that's Howard Morrison's family or the wives of some of these dudes. Look at look at their eyes in the background. That's how deeply like integrated this shit is into like their culture, bro. Into y'all's culture, whoever you know, whoever's culture you know does the haka, does war dances, trap things like that. It's so integrated into the culture that even seeing it from the sidelines, you like you want to jump in and go crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's that's deep, bro. That's respect. Y'all gonna see it? They're gonna be up in the top right here, bro. As soon as they switch the angle, look at their eyes, bro. They wanna hop in so bad. Look, look, her right here. Look at them two. Look at them two. Look, look, she going crazy. Look, her right here. Look, she hitting it. She hitting that thing in the back. Ah. Grandma hitting it, uncle in the back. This is a beautiful thing. Energy, bro. Look at Grandma. Question. 
real quick question. So, does if you're doing a haka specifically for a funeral or a sippy tail, sippy tail, whatever you whatever you're doing, right? Uh, if you're doing it specifically for a funeral, does it change? Right? Because I know there's different versions, there's different types. They're even performed differently depending on the occasion I've heard. But specifically, so like, if you're doing it for a funeral, what changes besides the regular hogger that you would normally do? Right? Uh, that's my first question. Throw that, throw that in the comments for me. Secondly, I just want to say this. Don't let me find out culturally where I'm from. You know, I know I'm, I know I'm black, right? I'm black, obviously, right? I know I got some uh, some Finland in me, some Native American in me, uh, but that's as far as I know. So if I, could, if I ever figure out where I'm originally, my bloodline goes back to, or most of my bloodline because it's in different places, and I find out which haka or which war cry belongs to me, pff, I'm teaching all the family we doing that at my funeral. I don't give a fuck. Y'all about to hit that war cry. Bop, bop, bink, bink, bink. Little boosie, you feel me? Boom. Tupac war cry in the gang you know what i'm saying so don't let me find out where i'm from man i'm gonna go out just like howard morrison dog but that's it man i hope y'all enjoyed that one i hope it didn't make you cry and if it did you know it's okay to release a little bit of emotion you know i thought it was dope like if i'm if i'm gonna go out i want to go out with a whole ass hawker you know what i'm saying all 30 of my niggas all 30 of my niggas bro hard ass hawker bro call it a day see you on the other side my, my g's so that's it man sir howard morrison rest in peace man Catch y'all next one. Thanks.